So this is my six cylinder two plate air engine that I had worked on a while back and completed. Um, I decided that I was going to see if I could make it a little smaller and do a three cylinder that would work as a six cylinder also because it would fire two times for every revolution as being an oval. But I've come into a major problem with the valve, the interior seal for the air inlet, the cross dimension is too small and when you get into higher pressures it sucks the o-ring into the opening and therefore the seal will not seal and the engine will basically not have any power because under a load it just blows all the air out through the open inlet valve through the exit valve so anyway i'm going to try this one and see what kind of uh, RPMs I get out of it and maybe I'll go ahead and put this on the uh, test vehicle temporarily and see what it does outside. So first I'm going to do it with two cylinders and then on four cylinders and then on six cylinders. And it may not start on two because it has to be at the right position but on four and six cylinders it should start all the time in any position. But we'll just have to see how that goes. Thirty-two point eight. That's the maximum or the highest RPMs. The median was eight hundred and four, so that's okay. And the, the last reading was nine thirty-two point eight. Now, I'll go and put it on four cylinders. See what that does. You notice it's got a fair amount of torque to it. So. Whoops. Four didn't quite do something right. Maybe I've got a valve that leaks. Sounds like it. Twenty four point eight, one thousand seven. Now, then we go to all four or six rather. about right. See what we get with that. Last was nine hundred and thirty three. 
Let me try it on 150 once. Put it on two. Eight sixty seven. Four. Fifteen. Okay, then put it on there on six. Running for those tests, the pressure went from 375 to 300, so I've used 75 PSI, probably about uh, 175 PSI average on the two runs. The first was at 200 PSI, the second was at 150. So, um, Pretty well satisfied with that, but I don't know which one of those valves is leaking. I'm going to have to figure that out. Because uh, when it's running on two, it leaks, seems like. This uh, valve, evidently they're not positive sealing. 
the valve that I've designed for the other oval air engine, it has O-rings in it, but I got a little problem with that too because the O-ring leaks whenever you get under high pressure because of the size. So I need to make it a, a larger hole. I've got a larger donut O-ring that I can use that should stop that being sucked in. And then it is a positive seal on that one. Uh, I just have to work on it, but it looks like maybe I can just replace this valve with the with the other one and be able to go right off. Maybe I can just take this out and put an O-ring in it. I'm not sure, <clears throat> but I'll see. So for now, that's going to be the end of my test for today. I do may need to, I do need to make a correction though on this video when I said I was running on two cylinders it was actually four and when I was running on four cylinders it was actually two I had just put that valve system on after repairing some stuff and I got it mixed up when I was positioning them. I do need to make a correction though. When I said I was running on two, actually it was running on four. And when it was on four, it was actually running on two. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing the test. It was a little long, I realize. And it might have been kind of boring, but that is the way it goes when you're working on something and trying to develop it. So anyway, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and give me a thumbs up or thumbs down on what you saw.